Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back. I am still working on um, sewing in, sewing on the lace to the pages, but in the meantime, I wanted to make some things to attach to the pages, a couple of tucks and belly bands and uh, banners and flips, so let's see if I can get them all done in this one video. I don't know if I can beat the 29 minute clock, but we'll see how fast I can go. Let's start with these um, page tucks. Um, I like to do these vertically because the pages are five and a half wide. Um, these journal cards are about five and a half wide, so they're not going to fit that way. So I'm just going to turn them like this, and I like to round the corners of my tucks kind of reminds me which way um, the tuckage should occur. So let's do it that way. So that will go on a right hand page like so. And we'll do this one like that and like this. So that'll go on a left hand page like that. Okay? Now, um, let me ink these and then we'll get to putting together. I'm doing those. Uh, these are the regular size and then when I printed them two to the page they came out this size. Okay, so there we go, and there we go. Now, what I want to do with this is sew around the entire thing. That will attach the pocket um, and give me a little bit of extra something. Um, I am going to add some lace on this piece first. Let's do that, and that way the sewing will be on top of that. Do I want to use that piece? Yeah. Try to use the same um, lace throughout. I don't need to make sure this is completely, you know, down because I'm going to sew it. But and I don't want it to move while I'm sewing either. Okay, same thing on this one. It's going to cover up a little bit of this flower, but that's okay. I'm going to flip it this way, I'm just running right along that edge, and then trim it off. Okay, so that will go like that. I'm just going to put a little smidge so that that will stay while I'm sewing. Like so. I'll trim this piece off. Okay. Just to make it tack, tacky. All right. So, I am going to go sew around these cards, and I shall return. So here you go. I've got two little, actually it will be this way, corner spots. I will attach to the corner page um, on that. So those are two tuck spots. Um, I've got some belly bands here. I am going to... Um, Actually, I'm going to go ahead and glue the lace on like I did on the last one, and then I will go sew that as well. So, these are one inch by eight and a quarter. No, yeah, one inch by eight and a quarter. And the horizontal one I did at five because um, I don't want it getting in the, um, you know, in the spine area. 
So need a little bit more room on the on the horizontal one. But these are so fun. And I like to put the envelopes in the belly bands because they when you put things inside the envelopes, you just have a little bit more room. Some of the pockets can be tight. So let's um Actually, I'm going to do this on the back side. I'm going to use my my glue stick. There again, this is the design team project for happiness and crafting. And we are finishing up um, our shabby shades of pink. You guys know I can't talk and do at the same time. I can't line this up and say what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I guess it's part of aging. But I do have a birthday coming up again. They come up every year. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, Happiness and Crafting Design Team Project. The collection is Shabby Shades of Pink. There, I said it. Okay. I am going to go and sew around these two pieces and I shall return. Okay, so I sewed around the belly band. See, they just look, I don't know, to me, they just look different, and um, I like it, but totally optional. Um, so I've got the belly bands, and then I went ahead and sewed around these pieces um, while I had it. I've got some banners up here I want to work on, but I'm not going to sew around those because the pieces are too... Um, awkward. Um, these were the pocket uh, journal cards reduced size um, and I just trimmed them down to make like a two by two and a half um, little focal point. So I've got some coffee dyed paper here. This is ripped but I'm going to sew this piece. Um, well actually let's see. Yeah I'm going to be gluing this to the page so it's not it's not going to matter. Um, or I could let's see Maybe it might be better to do it this way because gluing this down will keep that pocket together. So let's do that. I am not going to make this a pocket. Um, I am going to glue this down completely. Oh, I got sh glue strings everywhere. So I think I'm done with the sewing portion of the show today. All right. Well, after I'm finished videoing here, recording, um, videoing, <laughs> after, <laughs> well, after I finish recording, I need to finish sewing in those pages. So we are going to put this here like so, and that should keep this piece intact. Okay, sometimes when you use the 20 pound paper for coffee dyeing, it kind of uh, disintegrates. That's why I like to use the 28 pound paper, but I ended up with a ton of 20 pound paper because Walmart substituted it in the order. So let's see, let's go ahead and glue this one on. Sometimes they do that. When I first started, I didn't know you could go in and uh, choose not to substitute, so. Actually, I think it was cardstock I ordered and they substituted 20 pound copy paper because that's the same. Hey, I got a TV shelf one time and I don't even remember what I ordered, but it wasn't even in the same department that they substituted. So it can be uh, quite comical the things they substitute sometimes. 
most of the time I have no complaints. And now they have an easy return online, so it makes it a lot easier. I think I'm going to use this rose over here and this one here. And, um, yeah, I don't want to put glue here because it's going to stick off a little bit. Do I, how far do I want that? Yeah, just about that. Not using this for a tuck or anything, but you probably could. Well, you probably, you could. <laughs> no probably about it. Now, um, I am going to come back and um, add bling to all of these things. I just decided to wait on it till I get finished, see what I want to do. But, you know, I need to add some bling to this somewhere. I am going to add some lace trim to the bottom. Um, now, this um, corner piece was a square. Uh, four, I think it was 4x4 four four square. And I went ahead and cut it diagonally. That's how I got the two corner pockets. The piece that I mounted it on, the coffee dyed paper, was four and a half square. And I just folded it corner to corner. And um, that gives me that eighth inch edge there. These are fun little places to write. And I am lining this up along the uh, stitching line, which may or may not be a good idea because I'm not sure how straight I am. But yeah, some of this lace does not lay flat. Um, so you kind of have to roll it out a little bit. All right, so let's trim this off. And that looks like that end is okay. We'll do this, this piece here. I think, I think that's okay. And this piece. And then there again, this probably needs to be unrolled. It's just, you know, from being stored in a bag. Okay. So there we have our two corner flips and I'm not sure how that's going to flip if it's attached yeah I might have to hmm on my other the other time I did this I think I glued it down a little further um but you know what I'll do is I will just put a line here let's just fold that over that's what we'll do and when it's it's not going to be glued down okay so it'll be like this okay and then when you open this it will fold up like this come down like so I'm gonna put a little ink on there just grungy it up a little bit okay so I am going to therefore attach this whole piece to the well, no, because this is a pocket, so we'll, we'll see how it works. I think it'll be okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here, and it'll it'll fold both both ways. And um, a little ink on that. I could just tuck that under and put my bling there, couldn't I? And then that would be like that. I'm going to play with it a little bit more and we'll see because um, this will be on the page and you know you can write in that and then that'll just kind of be there. Um, if I attach this to the page then I can't use the pocket. So anyway I think it'll be fine. It We will make it work. Okay so one more and that is these right here. Let me put my glue 
pin in. I am going to ink around this. And I've got two of these that I'm going to do. I am not making paper clips out of these. I did last time, I think. But I'm just going to staple these to the top of a page um, for a tuck spot. And I may come back and... Um, when I add the bling, maybe I think these would be cute with some little word tags or something. And I do have some words from G that would be, um, that I can cut out and put on those from one of her Friday freebies. Now, I took, um, these are tags from the ephemera pages, and they are printed to a page. Um, so it made them really um, small. I've taken another piece and just cut the banner bottom out of that, cut the banner bottom out of all of these, and I'm just going to use these for banners instead of tags and make my banner clip here. And I've got a little piece of lace trim. I don't I don't really know how far up I need to ink that, so I'm just inking the whole thing. Not going to hurt. All right, so let's put, um, I'm going to put lace on half of this. I mean, sorry, glue on half of this when the glue comes out. Okay, I'm going to do halfway up with glue. All right, and I am going to attach this to this piece of lace first. That way I can center it properly. Okay, yeah, that was perfect. Okay, all right, and then I've got these pieces, and I keep, t I keep turning them this way because I keep thinking this is the, the banner, but... Um, the writing and the pictures go this way. So I'm just going to stick this piece in between here and I'm going to glue these together. Just kind of lining up um, or staggering the bottom, it doesn't matter. But I want this to be smaller, so I want this to be about two inches wide when everything is said and done. And I'm just going to put that a little bit on there. And here we go. So this is about two inches wide. Like that. And then I am going to glue this to the top there. Um, you can go ahead and cut off these straight across. That'll be a little bit easier. Um, how far do I want to come down on this? I don't want it to go all the way down because then I've got a really short, um, so I think I'm going to do about the, you know, a quarter of an inch on the bottom of this here. A little bit more glue than I would normally add because I want to make sure it sticks right through that lace. Okay. And I put on way more than I needed. So just like that. I've got glue. Let me get a, a little clip so that I can hold this and let that other glue dry. Like that. And that will assure. So let's do this one really quickly. And I think we're good to go. I'm going to finish putting it all together. 
Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what day this video will be. You know, I'm going to go ahead and finish it out by Saturday, so I'm not sure if this video is Saturday or Friday, but um, we will also do a flip through uh, when I'm finished. So um, I will get them posted as soon as I finish editing them. And um, yeah, then we'll, we, so I'm going to just put it all together and then we'll do a flip through and then we'll go on to a new project. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I had a blast with this um, collection and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the goodies. And I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.